Jane, can you believe how far we've come? Even in this coffee shop, technology surrounds us. But what fascinates me most is the rise of generative AI in social work. Ah, uh, yes, artificial intelligence. Quite an opportunity for social reform, isn't it? Precisely. On one hand, AI can tremendously support individual casework. It can analyze extensive data and help tailor interventions for individuals, advancing the professionalization of social work. But the question of ethics remains. I share your concern. Generative AI could be a tool for social justice if used to identify systemic issues, but it could also deepen existing inequalities. Therefore, social work educators must prepare students to navigate these ethical terrains. Agreed. It aligns with the competencies outlined by CSWE and the technology standards from NASW educators must integrate AI topics in their curricula. Learning how to utilize AI tools responsibly is essential. Absolutely, but educators also need to teach students to examine the broader implications of AI. For instance, how might AI affect labor markets or perpetuate discriminatory practices? That's where the lens of social justice comes into play. As I've always said, casework and social reform must progress together. AI could serve as a catalyst for this unity, provided the focus is on both individual and societal betterment. Let's start with its benefits for casework. Using algorithms, we can sift through vast amounts of data to identify behavioral patterns and recommend interventions. This aligns perfectly with my belief in the scientific methodology of casework. That's a promising approach to micro-level work, but we must be cautious. AI algorithms are trained on existing data, which may carry historical biases. If not properly managed, these biases can be perpetuated. You bring up a vital point, which is why students must be trained to scrutinize the data critically. They should be competent not just in applying AI, but also in understanding its limitations, as aligned with CSWE EPS competencies. We can't overlook AI's potential in macro-level work either. Think of social policy analysis and advocacy. AI can sift through vast legislative data to help us understand the impact of different policies on communities. Absolutely. And that aligns well with the technology standards set by NASW and CSWE ethics should be a cornerstone in any technological implementation in social work. Our discussion reaffirms my belief that ethical stewardship of generative AI is not just a responsibility, it's a necessity for the future of social work. Educators must guide this new generation in both the science and the art of social work. Now more than ever, the profession must hold true to its roots while embracing the possibilities and responsibilities of the future.